Hi all. Today's broadcast is about how to utilize a workflow activity in the design of a processing constraint condition. Now the first question is why we need a workflow activity in the processing constraint conditions. See the answer to this is many a time we have a situation where we can't rely on any of the attribute available in database to the design of a processing constraint or many a time we don't have the required values in the database attributes that we can use in the processing constraint condition. Now let's take an example of a, a workflow activity, order line workflow activity awaiting export compliance. This activity is at the order line level and when, when we execute this activity, when Oracle order line workflow e execute this activity, the APIs in this activity call the external adopter, which will perform the export compliance and then come back to the uh, Oracle workflow API. And if the outcome is successful, the workflow activity moves to the next activity or it will go back to the previous activity, all error out at the same. Now, when Oracle order management, when order line perform export compliance activity, it will not update any attribute which indicates that the workflow for the order line is performing the export compliance. The only way we can rely, the only way we can check if the order line is performing the export compliance is look at the workflow. If the workflow activity is still in notify status, then we can say the export compliance activity has not yet completed. So, so suppose now we have a condition where we don't want user to update the order line if the export compliance activity is not yet completed. So how we can do that? As you look into the in the constraint condition constraint area, the third line, we have a operation update which we don't want to allow on the order line if the line is in awaiting export compliance. So how we can implement this? So that how we can implement this is as you look into the validation template. I am using a validation template for this processing constraint. Uh, awaiting export compliance validation template. So let's look at the definition of this export compliance template. Now as you look into the template, so as you look into a template, the line number two, order the entity is order line. The template name is export, awaiting export compliance and the description is line is currently interfaced to the export compliance. And in the validation type, I have a workflow. And in the validation semantics, I have a line type order line. Activity is export compliance screening and status is notified. As all of know, the status of export compliance screening workflow activity is notified if this activity has been triggered and we have not yet received the result back from the export compliance adapter. So the status notified means the export compliance activity has been triggered but it has not yet been completed and this is what we want. Our requirement is we don't want user to update build to if the export compliance is not yet complete. So this is, so what we did is we, we put a condition, we put a template which says as long as status is notified, do not let the user to update the build to. So once the export compliance activity is completed, the outcome of the status will be complete. And at that time, if we, we user try to update the build to, again this condition will be triggered and this will go to the template. And since the status is complete and no more notified, it will let the user to update the build to condition. So this is one of the case where we can use the export compliance based on the workflow activity because as all of us knows, as soon as the uh, Oracle go for the export, uh, Oracle workflow go for, go for the export compliance check, we will not, Oracle will not, uh, uh, no attribute in the order line has been updated which tell us, okay, the export compliance activity has been triggered. Same is the case with all other work, many of the other workflow activities which we can utilize 
in defining the processing constraint based on our business needs hope that will uh, that will be helpful to you guys if you need any additional condition or need additional input please feel free to reach me thank you bye